Hey guys, this is the start of another vlog and for yesterday and today at cardiovascular department I had to go to school at 5 a.m. because I had to do the EKG to ICU patients and that was like so 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 tiring me and my other friend had to go there at until 5 30 so I left home at about five ish and then when we got there there is like a list that the intern made and we have to do the EKGs of the patients that are on the list um, it was it was interesting it was fun it was a nice experience but going to school at 5 a.m. for two days in a row that is like so 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 much work like I know when you are an intern you have to go there early and you don't really have any like personal time whatever but huh, experiencing that for the first time um, that was kind of hard and um, when we go to, to do the EKG we have to go in pairs and we have to have like one girl and one boy as a student doctor because if there are all boys then there are women patients and they don't really like some women don't really like men to do their EKG because um, the chest has to be exposed and even if it weren't me I would really really not like it because I know that they are just doing it it's their job and it's what they have to do but I don't really like it. I wouldn't be pleased and I would rather have a girl doctor do it. So that's why we go in pairs as in girl and boy and um, today all of the patients were women so I did most of it and the other, um, the other friend did the mechanical job of clicking the EKG button and making sure that everything is on place. And for the day before, half of them were men and half of them were women, so we took turns and it really was interesting. I really, really liked it. So that was a very unusual experience. Um, I don't know if others do, I don't know if other countries' medical school students do that when they are on their clinical rotation, but we did it and for those of you who don't know EKG is just you put leads onto your chest you put six leads on your chest and four on your limbs and it just checks your heart and that's it um it's really really simple it's not painful it's not invasive you just have to put the leads in the right place and click it at the right moment and yeah that's what I did oh and fun fact I was always confused with the term EKG like is it ECG or is it EKG because I see both those terms all the time on textbooks and on like professors presentation and lectures and stuff so I googled it and I noticed that ECG is the English term and EKG is the German term so they are both right and I don't know I just wanted to share that with you I think a lot of you would already know but I was confused so I wanted to share that right now I'm trying to wash out my face and brush my teeth and get ready to go to bed and just not for bed I'm just gonna get ready to go to bed and study and then go straight to bed that's what I do every single day I don't like to study with my makeup on and then have to go wash all over and then go to bed because I just want to go to bed when I'm super super tired um that's just my way of doing things so yeah i will see you later hi guys it is the last day since i last vlogged um i just a ramen noodle and I saw Grey's Anatomy's 
finale of season 12. I tried to watch it um, before but I just couldn't find the time to do it. Um, by the time that I was trying to watch it, I had some more homework to do so I couldn't watch it. So I watched it and it was great. I cannot wait for the season 13 to come out. I am a huge fan of Grey's Anatomy. Um, I am just so in love with that show and actually I learned a lot of medical information from that show. Um, seriously, I started watching it um, two years ago and ever since that I've been watching it consistently and I learn new stuff every time I watch that drama so I am really a big fan. I tried to vlog today at school but um, I had a case presentation early in the morning like 7.50 or so so I was just crazy busy so I couldn't vlog it. Um, today was the last day of cardiovascular department. Um, it is a one week rotation so it was quick. It was just five days and I'm glad that it's over. Um, I cannot wait to move on to the next department which is also internal medicine. Um, it's oncology and I've heard that the professor um, explains for a very very long time and we have to stand during rounds like we have to stand like three hours um, listening to the professor and I'm not complaining that we have to stand for a long time but it's just that a lot of students have mentioned that your legs are gonna hurt so prepare compression stockings um, I don't know if that's the right term in English but um, in Korea we call it compression stockings and there are those specific ones made for medical purposes so you put it on your legs like regular stockings but it's not like a pantyhose um, you just put it on your lower legs and it helps prevent varicose pain but I don't really have varicose pain it's just for the pain when you are standing for a long time right now it's about midnight it's um, 40 minutes before midnight and that's why I'm a bit sleepy my voice is sleepy and my eyes are not fully opened <laughs> right now i was actually doing some homework for obgyn um my obgyn rotation starts um after one week today is friday and it will start the next next monday i was pre-doing the homework um there are certain assignments that you have to do and I was doing it in advance because by the time I rotate OBGYN it's June and finals are in July so I am gonna be so busy um, there are so many assignments when you go to that department and it's pretty hectic so I decided to do it early so that I can do my final studying while during OBGYN rotation and I redid my bedding today for summer because the weather is getting really really hot and it's getting more and more like summer so I changed my bedding into a more lighter one it looks like this I really really like it and yeah and there's my trusty bear that I got from Costco and this is Simpson <laughs> Homer Simpson that um, my friend got me from America